Hey, welcome back to Mocktails with Marina. I'm your host, Marina, and today I'm going to be guiding you through one of my absolute favorite phases of building a business, what I like to call the discovery phase. Whether you're just starting out or you want to revisit the foundation of your vision, this is where it all begins. Now, you may have heard me mention the Discovery Phase Launchpad before. This is a place where big dreams start to take form. This is more than just a beginning. It's where you lay down the roots of what could be an incredible journey. Today, I want to inspire you to take those first steps, discover what your unique path looks like, and help you make that dream a reality. And note, even if you have opened a business before and this isn't your first revenue stream, starting a new revenue stream of any kind puts you back into that discovery phase. So this applies to everyone, whether you're a brand new entrepreneur or you're a veteran to the industry. Now, what exactly is the discovery phase? Picture this. You have an idea and it excites you. Maybe you're dreaming of a non-elk bottle shop, a kava bar, or your own product line in the functional beverage space. It's thrilling, but at the same time, it can be a bit overwhelming. This is where discovery comes in. The discovery phase is all about exploration. It's about answering those initial questions, building the base of your operations, and getting clear on who you are and who you serve. It's about giving yourself permission to dream big, while also creating an action plan that will take those dreams off the vision board and into the real world. And here's where the magic really starts, my friend. The discovery phase is not just about understanding the nuts and bolts of a business. It's actually about creating a strong foundation rooted in community and service. It's about who you are and why you want to do this. For those of you stepping into the non-alc industry, that why often has a lot of heart behind it. Maybe it's because you wanna change how people celebrate. Maybe it's because you've walked your own path with alcohol and you know there's a different way forward. Or maybe it's because you see a need in your community and know that you can fill it with your unique perspective. Whatever your reason is, the discovery phase is where you truly connect with that reason. It's where you start talking to people, building your network, and creating those authentic connections that will form the heartbeat of your business. Look, you don't need all the answers right now. Trust me, you will not find them in isolation. This phase is about embracing curiosity and staying open to the unexpected. It's about community and gathering feedback from those you want to serve. Who is your ideal customer and what do they need? How do you speak their language? Not just through your branding, but through the way you make them feel. I know some of you might be nervous about putting yourself out there and that's completely understandable. Sometimes we want our ideas to be perfect before we show them to the world, but let me tell you a little secret. Perfection is not what connects us. Vulnerability does. When you open up about your vision, when you let people see that you're just figuring it out, just like everyone else, that's when they start rooting for you. That's when you build trust. That's when the right people, your customers, your collaborators, and maybe even investors, begin to gravitate towards you. And let's talk about list building. One of the most tangible actions you can take in the discovery phase is list building. Look, I know that emails and email lists might sound a bit old school in the age of social media, but hear me out. Your email list is the key to creating real lasting relationships with your audience. You're not just relying on an algorithm, but you're creating a direct line to the people who care about what you have to say. It's a space where you can speak from your heart, share your journey, and make people feel like they're a part of something so much bigger. This is something I highly recommend taking action on today. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? You just start by making a list of people who already believe in you, your friends, your family, and even acquaintances who are curious about what you're up to. Invite them into your world. Share your why. Show them the value that you're creating. Invite them to take part in that story. When you send that first email, it's not about selling something. It's about bringing your community closer. It's about letting them see you and inviting them to be a part of this amazing journey. 
Now, another part of this phase is starting to think about your funding. I know it can be daunting, but let me tell you, it is also an incredible opportunity for growth. So whether you're thinking about crowdfunding, hosting an event, applying for grants, finding investors, uh, talking to banks, Whatever it is, this is where you get to tell your story in a way that moves people. So this isn't just about asking people for money if that feels uncomfortable, but it's about letting you put yourself out there. Fundraising is about creating a connection between your vision and the people who see its value. The goal is not just to get the money. It's to engage, inspire, and bring people on board as champions of your vision. This is why during the discovery phase launch pad specifically, which is a program uh, internally to the modern mocktail, we talk a lot about engagement over perfection. It's about stepping into the arena, even if you're not fully ready. It's about having conversations, getting your hands dirty, and allowing the clarity to come from that real world action. It's about speaking to people's hearts and not just pitching them some idea, right? The events you host, the vendors you collaborate with, the shows you put on, these are not just opportunities to fundraise. And even when you are beyond the discovery phase, it's not just an opportunity to make money, right? This is an opportunity, all of these are opportunities to show your community what you're really about and why they should believe in your vision. If there's one message I want you to take away from today, it's that the discovery phase is about momentum. It's about taking that energy you feel and letting it move you forward. Do not get caught up in all the ways that it could go wrong. So focus on the joy of building something from the ground up and on creating the change you wish to see. Embrace the unknown. Ask the questions. Engage your community. Be proud of every single small step you take because each one is getting you closer to where you want to be. I believe in you. And I know you have something special to offer. So what's one step you can take today? What can you do right now to put yourself out there, to gather feedback, get your market research done, and start building the community that will be around the, the dream that you have, the vision that you have? Maybe it's sharing your story on social media. Maybe it's sending that first email. Maybe it's reaching out to someone in the industry who you admire. Whatever it is, do it. This phase is about movement. So for the rest of this episode, I want to do a movement with you. I want to help you move out of fear and into action. So we're going to go over some of the most common business fears that come up, not only in the non-alc industry, although, of course, they could especially arise here. But I want to just mention to you that fear is not a good enough reason to hold you back from doing what you need to do. Not knowing how to do what you need to do is not enough of a reason to not move forward. I know that may be contrary to some other people's advice out there, but I genuinely believe this because not only has it been true on the three businesses that I have successfully run in my life, but also I've seen it in our clients. Now, first thing, fear of failure, right? What if my business fails and I lose everything? The thing is, failure is not final. It's simply feedback. Every great entrepreneur has failed at something, but those moments shaped their success. In the non-alc space, you're redefining an industry, and every setback brings you one step closer to innovation. Maybe you have the fear of the unknown. Maybe you think to yourself, I don't know what lies ahead, and that uncertainty terrifies me. Well, the unknown is where discovery happens. Each day is a new chapter where you can craft a legacy that has never been written. It is, let's put it this way, in a market as dynamic as non-elk, you are a pioneer and you are creating new pathways for others to follow. This is exciting. Maybe you have a fear of not being good enough. Maybe you feel like you don't have what it takes to succeed. I want you to know that you already have everything you need within you your passion, your creativity, and your unique perspective. No one can bring to the table what you are bringing to the table. So remember that the non-alc industry thrives on authenticity, and that's where you shine. Everything else you can pick up along the way. You can find someone to fill tasks that you're uncertain of. You can strategize with consultants to make decisions that feel unclear to you in the moment. Nothing is final. You will always be 
be good enough. It's not about you not being good enough. Maybe you fear rejection. What if people don't like your product or idea? Rejection is simply a redirection. So it leads you to the people who will love what you offer. In the non-alk world, your product is about community, wellness, and choice. These values resonate very deeply with people. These are not surface level intentions. So just keep working on finding your tribe. I swear, I promise they are out there. Maybe you fear financial instability. Maybe you know you think to yourself, what if I run out of money and can't sustain my business? Smart planning can turn this fear into confidence. It can literally flip it on its head. So just remember that even with limited resources, you're building something sustainable, ethical, and aligned with growing trends. The non-elk industry is on the rise and there's space waiting for you. Perhaps you have the fear of making the wrong choices. What if I make the wrong decision and ruin everything? Just know that no decision is permanent and every choice teaches you something invaluable. In this emerging market, flexibility and adaptation are key. So no single decision will ever define your journey here. Do not worry. (laughs) Trust that you are going to adjust and thrive with every move. Honestly, confidence is half the struggle, truly. Fear of success is something that often comes up. Like people think, well, what if I succeed and it becomes too overwhelming? Success is a reflection of your ability to grow. Embrace it. You are capable of handling whatever comes your way. And success means that you're making an impact. In the non-elk industry, your success means others are choosing healthier, more intentional lifestyles. And again, you learn the skills you need exactly when you need them. So if you feel stuck, as in you don't understand how something's going to operate once it gets too big, well, don't worry, you're not at that point yet. But once you get there, if you can't figure it out, you will be able to have the means to hire someone to help you figure it out. That is the whole purpose, CEO. This is a different ball game than being an employee. Which brings us to our next fear. Some people fear that they might lose freedom. Like, what if my business takes over my life and I lose my independence? The thing is, a very well-designed business provides you with lifestyle richness. This is one of the main three pillars we teach within the Discovery Phase Launchpad. Your business is a tool to enhance your freedom, not diminishing it, right? So by building a sustainable non alk venture, you're creating a business that allows flexibility and growth on your terms. It's your chance to design the life you want. Perhaps you have a fear of missing opportunities. What if I miss the perfect moment to act? Just know that the best opportunities are the ones that you create for yourself. By building something authentic and valuable in the non-elk space, you're positioning yourself for opportunities every single day. Timing follows passion and dedication. That's just something you're going to have to have faith and trust in. And lastly, another fear that often comes up for people is letting others down. You might think to yourself, I don't want to disappoint my loved ones or those who believe in me. The truth is, you're building something very meaningful, and not just meaningful for yourself, but for everyone who believes in a better, healthier future. By stepping into this venture, you're showing your loved ones the power of perseverance, creativity, and vision. You are quite literally moving mountains. (laughs) Okay, maybe not literally, but big, big mental mountains. And it's going to feel that heavy. Even if you aren't moving heavy boxes, you will feel exhausted. On this, on this phase, it's a normal part of creating something new. You're giving your energy to something that is creating a life of its own. It is a beautiful process and just know that you absolutely got this. Your fears are all a part of the journey, but they're also signals that you're pushing towards growth and transformation. You're not sticking in your comfort zone. That's amazing. Inside the Discovery Phase Launchpad, we address all of these fears head on so you can move forward with confidence and clarity in building your non-elk business. So let's turn these fears into fuel for your success. Again, whether this is your first revenue stream or your 15th, I'm absolutely here to help you through it. So you can check the link in the description of this episode, um, and that will give you more information on the Discovery Phase Launchpad. If you are looking to have more information before diving in, I totally get it. I totally understand. Please send me an email, hello at marinamars.com. I'm going to send you a free workshop. It's just an hour long. You can watch it whenever you're ready to. And in that recording of this 
awesome workshop I hosted in that it was all about creating non-ALK revenue streams, you will be able to see the path a little bit more clearly. I'll have a lot of visual representations to show you what the process is like, what are the things that tend to get in the way of uh, making a great profit, making a great impact, and creating a very lifestyle-rich business and life. Right? You don't want to be martyring yourself for the sake of this vision. You want this vision to work for you and service those in the community who it speaks so deeply with. So all of that being said, again, I believe in you. I really do. Because if you found this podcast, uh, I'm, I'm not on the top list of anything because I'm, I'm here in the trenches just like you, right? So if you found me, that means you've already done the work, you've got the passion, and if you've listened this far, just know, like, you, you're you already on your way. So I hope this episode has allowed a lot of fears to subside um, and that you really do take that next step today. And I really, really hope you take that step with me. So as always, if you need anything, just let me know.